our post-game coverage here at SFCanaries.com and online at YouTube. And now joined by tonight's hero, Jason Repko and manager Chris Patterson. Skip, uh, we'll start with you first and foremost. Birds have lost three straight down there in Sioux City. Came back home to open up a big four-game stand against Lincoln. Obviously, you needed a win tonight. Things didn't necessarily go perfect throughout the entire game, but as long as you get that last run in, that's really all that matters. Yeah, definitely. A win's a win no matter how you get it. Um, proud of our guys for battling back, staying in it all game. Even after that grand slam, you know, we could have got demoralized and hung our heads, but we just went up there and kept swinging. That's the only way you're going to get out of that jam. Talk so. about that situation there in the eighth inning, too. Mike Block came in and reported five outs, ended up having to leave there after putting a couple guys on. Isaac like, Bay just got into a tough situation to let him go, but he's still been one of your better relievers this season. Yeah, usually Cam's a guy we count on to come in and get a big strikeout when we need it. Righty righty matchup, we had to do it over, we do it again. His fastball was up a little bit, and uh, that was a really good hitter out there. He's an experienced hitter, and he took advantage of that pitch. Skip, talk a little about your resilience in your lineup. I've had a few kind of guys in this place on the lineup tonight. Talk a little bit how they come together at the end and when you walk. Yeah, baseball is that next man up mentality. Whoever's out there, we expect them to do the same job as the guy out there that's usually out there. So we're not going to cut anybody slack just because they're out of position or they don't play as much. We want everyone to do the same, and every one of our guys has the same uh, heart and mentality to Keep fighting and scratch until the end. The squad was down uh, the seven to four at one point. You start your battle back and get a run in the sixth. And then Jason, you come up to lead off the seventh there and uh, hit a home run to lead things off. Get your team back within one run. Uh, for you, it's been kind of an up and down season, but you get a chance there and a really good night to play here tonight. Had to be gratifying for you with all the heroics at the end of the night to kind of cap off just a great game here against the uh, Lincoln Sultans. Yeah, without a doubt. Obviously, like we said, you know, crazy game. But everyone kind of kept their way uh, in there and, you know, banging the ball around for myself, trying to keep a little more simple at the plate and uh, get the ball up in the zone and just get good wood on it. So it definitely felt great to contribute. You know, I think, uh, like you said, up and down season for me so far. But to uh, get in there and hit some balls that really mattered felt really good. You and I have talked about it a couple times, but so this team has resilience. Kind of like what you were saying, it's kind of become those cardiac kids. They're not willing to give up even after a grand slam and anything, things like that. You love to see that from your teammates. Yeah, I love it. I said that from the beginning. You know, you see that with us. We get down, you know, four, five, six runs. A lot of these teams, you'll see they'll just kind of fold. You can see them kind of cave, and we never do that. You know, our guys go up there. They plug away. They try to have good at-bats, and, you know, we get our runs, and next thing you know, we're in a scoring position to, to win the game. So it's, it's great. You're going to win at home here tonight in front of your home crowd. And obviously, back to Skip, like you said, this crowd has uh, helped kind of revitalize you guys when you've had maybe some of those down moments throughout the season. Another moment tonight where the crowd stuck with you, even with all the adversity. Yeah, and I think the crowd's kind of figuring that out. As long as it's close at the end, that we have a chance. So and if we can play every game like we do in the 8th and ninth at home, we'd be in the World Series this year. <laughs> Shuffling up your uh, starting rotation now, heading into tomorrow, you're going to split up your two lefties and send Joe Bircher out on the hill in the short rest. What ultimately uh, led to that decision? You know, Birch's last outing was a short one, so we wanted to get him back out there as uh, quick as possible to get him back on track. Also, just, you know, we have two lefties in our rotation. You might as well break them up, not let the other team get into a groove, you know, trying to go right center on the lefties like a good team does. So being able to break them up is uh, going to help us in the long run more than anything. Final thoughts for this one here tonight, Skip? I, I don't know what happened, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on the win, guys, and uh, we'll have a few more of these post-game shots to come back down the road. Right, thanks. Thank you. That'll do it for us, Jason Repco, Chris Patterson, and we'll be back next time with more coverage on SFCanaries.com.